Okay, welcome to this uh, short WP Local Biz video, uh, which is going to be a walkthrough on the main um, uh, sections and functions of the WP Local Biz theme uh, as you look at it from the front uh, home page. And in fact, we've got uh, six main areas. We've got the uh, the header, which is this area here, incorporates the um, the upper banner. Um, and it incorporates the actual headline and the sublight headline, and then we've got the um, not these aren't necessarily in order, but uh, the annex another area is the testimonial box here, which we'll go through in another video. Then the main featured panel here, which um, can feature static images, it can feature a rotating gallery, it can feature video, and on the right hand side here we've got uh, this section here, which is the um, uh, the call to action opt-in uh, box and uh, there's three sections to that the call to action red down arrow and then the text at the top and then down here you can put an opt-in form or an image that links to could link to an opt-in form or wherever and then down the bottom of course we've got uh, underneath the featured panel we've got this uh, featured panel text area here and uh, we've got the footer and the footer has got of course the uh, navigation here uh, including the new uh, H card which when you scroll over uh, brings up the H card in a uh, fancy box, a light box. We'll go over that uh, a little bit later on. And uh, the foot uh, um, side accreditations down the bottom and then the, the, the phone number. But uh, for this particular video what we're going to be going through um, uh, and taking you through as a, as a guide is the um, header section here. So basically it's how to set the uh, upper banner text and the, the um, main headline the subheadline because um, as of uh, version 1.3.1 a couple of versions ago we introduced this jQuery uh, special um, uh, font so that you can uh, type in uh, basically whatever you want in your headline or in your, in your banner and uh, have uh, special effects like at, at the moment we've got an outline and shadow you can have outline only shadow only you can even have have mirrored effect if you want to and that gives you a graphic header effect, but uh, simply by typing in the um, the text that you want and clicking the button, it's all done. You can, of course, as an option, upload a graphic uh, a banner for the header, but uh, that's entirely optional. Okay, so um, let's just get started with this. Okay, so here we are in the back end, and uh, this um, is the WP Local Biz Control Panel. Uh, that's a function of your uh, WP Local Biz plugin. Once you've installed that and activated it, what you'll uh, get when you come to the settings <coughs> uh, <coughs> section and how to get there is uh, just click on the WP Admin Settings. My menu here is horizontally across the top. Um, you might have your menu down the left hand side, but basically uh, everything's all the same here. So, settings, I go to WP Local Biz, which I've got. And that's what you get here. Now, this confuses some people. They look at this and say, well, you know, where's all the controls? And then when they scroll over, it says click here, but there's no mouse, um, no uh, call out saying, you know, click here. Uh, that's because the jQuery uh, controlled and not uh, HTML controlled. So uh, we might change that in another version, make it a little bit even more obvious. But where it says click here, you click here, and of course it opens up. Okay, so. Uh, the, this controls the header we're using the aqua theme at the moment. This is the text for the uh, very top thin banner uh, that you saw before. That's where are we? That's in this area here. Local biz online consultants. We will flood your business with internet customers. That's what's written in here. Okay, so whatever you type in there, and it is um, case sensitive and HTML enabled, so you can create links to. Um, text in there if you want to. Um, okay, and uh, then the text effect for the very th the top thin banner, that's this one here, it's outline. At the moment we've got a uh, an outline effect of uh, maroon color. It's a bit hard to see. If I just amplify this a little bit, just blow that up, pressing control and plus, you can see that we've got an outline of a maroon color around the actual text itself. And interestingly enough, if I keep amplifying that, you'll see just how um, crisp and clear this text is, both for the banner and both for the uh, for the headline. So that's uh, very, very good quality indeed. Now, 
it's a, if I just press Control Zero, I'll go back to the uh, original uh, size. Okay, and uh, so yeah, here we are in the back end here, and uh, we've got maroon, uh, the text font for the very top thin banner. We can we can play around with that. Platino linotype is what we've gone for, and the main text for the header, which is local beers, uh, online consultants. That's this one that you see here, and you can type in whatever you want. Uh, for instance, if I wanted to, you know, just change that just for the sake of it, and press save, we go back, have a look, and refresh the page, and that will be refreshed. I hope it's not too long for the header. Um, okay. Yeah. See. There we go. Local biz online consultants. Oh yeah. Um, so you can basically <coughs> have whatever. Um, headline, whatever text you want to use in there, just go ahead and use that, so we're going to change that of course, we don't want that in there, but ok, next time we refresh the page, ok, and at the moment we've got the um, the special effect as the outline and shadow, I could have just outline, ok, and we'll save the changes, and we come back here, and when we refresh this time, the oh yeah should have gone, and the shadow should have gone, but the outline should stay and that's exactly what's happened we've just got a nice crisp outline now okay so you, you're getting the idea of this um, I think and uh, if I wanted to just change that to just shadow I could change it to just shadow and again I'm just going to get a, a nice dark shadow it's, it's more of a subtle effect um, than, uh, than anything else, but I, I really like it actually. Okay, so yeah, there's just the uh, the shadow, and um, you know, if you play around with that, um, you'll you'll notice that um, there's some nice uh, effects that you can get there. I mean, I'm just using the black shadow at the moment, but uh, hey, you know, we could use <coughs> whatever color we like. And I haven't played with all these colors. I've played with a lot of them. See, I've just got main text color for header. It should be main text effect color. We we might change that. At the moment, it's uh, because the actual font itself self is white. It will always still stay white unless you go in the style color sheet and change it. But we've specifically chosen white because it fits in with the styling of the rest of the uh, design. But uh, okay, so black. Um, let's say we wanted to change that. You wanted to make it maroon. Not that that's going to fit in here. But uh, well, let's just hit the changes, <coughs> and you'll see that that will change now to a maroon shadow instead of a black uh, a black shadow uh, let's see okay so you're getting the idea here you can create yeah it looks okay too so you can create it kind of harmonizes with the uh, you know with the maroon uh, outline on the top so you can you can kind of play around with this um, when well you can play around have a lot of fun with it you know get it looking exactly the way that you want it to get it looking. Um, now, of course, we're using Vidana uh, font for the top, but what if we use Georgia? That's going to look different again. And, and let's say we we change the... Uh, we've got the shadow effect. Let's change that to... I don't know. Let's change it to blue. See what that looks like. And let's have uh, outline and shadow again. Okay. And we'll have a look at what that looks like. Uh, let's Let's change the the outline for the uh, for the top two. Let's make that red this time. Okay. So you can see that um, this is all just point and click and have a bit of fun and change the uh, <coughs> the appearance of the uh, of the header there very very quickly. You don't have to spend ages in Photoshop or GIMP or Paint.net doing your own graphic uh, banners. Of course, if you want to add an image, you you can. Now that looks off. You know, it just it looks incongruent. It just looks, you know, wrong for the, or certainly the top does anyway. But hey, you know, you know, for some particular th color themes and uh, and so forth, it might look good. But you can see the effect there. And again, if I, I blow that up, you can just see the crispness of the um, of what we've got there. See how nice and crisp that is. Okay, so we've got a, a blue outline. We've got a blue shadow. We've got the the red outline up the top. So um, I think you get the general idea with that, <coughs> and it's just up to you as the as the side owner and <coughs> uh, creator, if you like, 
to be as uh, creative as you can <coughs> and <coughs> you can play around with your top with your font <coughs> you can play around with the effect you can play around with the uh, effect colors uh, play around with the text uh, th for the sub uh, title text we've just got either none or we've got italic at the moment we've got italic on and we've got Arial for the text but uh, you could you could change that you know we could have uh, what could we have we could have comic MS and we could have it just in with none and just see what that looks like uh, we'll just go and save that and I think you'll see that looks pretty darn good Okay, so we've uh, saved again. Again, uh, again, I wouldn't be using this blue and the red outline at the top, but uh, yeah, look, we've just changed that at the bottom there. Trust you, ha ha trust us to get hordes of internet customers. It's um, you know, it's in the uh, in the comic MS, and uh, that looks good too. So that just about wraps it up, folks, on um, on what you can do, you know, with the uh, with the font there. I actually haven't got. I haven't lined up a uh, <coughs> a graphic header, but if you had a header that you made, <coughs> and we'll cover that in a separate uh, video, but uh, you can either make a header on a solid background or on a clear background. If you make a clear bra background, of course, it shows the colours of the actual uh, skin that you're using. So therefore, if you used a, a clear graphic uh, background header, it wouldn't matter whether you change the skins from any one of the of the 15 different skins available and it would suit all of them but uh, that's up to you to do and uh, basically to change that what you do is if you want to use an image instead of text header well you just check that box there as long as the image is no more than uh, 70 pixels high by 660 wide it will all of it will show in the header there and then you just bra click the browse button here and you just upload from whatever destination on your desktop or your graphic file or wherever you've just you know saved your header that you've made and you can have images in there or whatever you want to have there's quite a lot that you can do with that but uh, you know for the most part I just like to keep it simple get a site going and uh, now that we've included that feature it allows you to have a lot of scope to create a very distinctive looking uh, presentation there for you your header in you know in minutes and it's done. Uh, if you want to you know spend a couple of hours creating a graphic header later, well then you can do so. But especially when deploying these sites for, for clients uh, or doing a demo site, you can have something up and running that looks good instantly without having to take a lot of time with the graphic headers and so forth. Okay, so this has uh, been Russell Hall for WP Local Biz. Thanks for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye now.